staying on the market. Scott Shelley joins us. All right, Scott, uh, you, know, you were with us uh, at the Open today. Looks like that momentum is drying up, and we know for the last couple of weeks, every time it's dried up, it's turned sometimes from positive to negative. Yeah, it can sometimes get ugly, and I think that there's been a, a sea change in mentality. Remember, for the last 12 to 18 months when we've had the Fed involved, it's always been a buy-the-dip mentality. But you know, about December, sometime in December, we flipped that, and we're now a sell-the-rally mentality, and I think that's what you're seeing here. Guys trying to take advantage of a little bit of a bump, thinking they're going to get it back cheaper like they did not used to do last year. So sell the rallies now instead of buy the dips. And I would guess old, those, those old uh, support points have now become resistance points. And until we take them out, we're probably going to be in this sort of crazy gyration with the downside bias. Yeah, and you know, and the downside bias is, you know, I, I don't think I can remember an earnings season where we're going to really have to pay attention to guidance probably more than the actual hard numbers because I think it's all going to be about the guidance. So as we start getting through some of these tech companies and their guidance, I think that's going to be very key. But we still, I keep saying it, I don't want to be a broken record, but, you know, until we finally do find some true growth where we really can see the economy doing well, not just selling cars because we can loan you money for seven years, right. I mean, really selling cars, I think that that's what's going to ultimately be what backstops this market and turns it around and until we see that happening everybody else is deflating themselves too or trying to inflate but they're deflating that's not going to be good for the market i got you man i agree a thousand percent scott shelley thanks a lot have a great weekend